Alright, so this is to remove and replace an LED on basically any of the arrays with the um, aluminium board behind them. I usually set my heat gun almost all the way up, not quite, and then hold it oh, about 2-3 centimeters away underneath the LED. Gently touch it, don't apply much force, you're just waiting to see if that solder is melted. So if you go too hot, you bubble the green um, layer off the aluminium. And then it's really nice. Alright, that's quite enough LED off. Now, they're all lead free solder which is a much higher melting point than leaded solder so I'll normally clean that all off with a soldering iron and a bit of wick so we can replace it with um, regular leaded solder that's a bit more forgiving, a bit lower melting point Get all the old stuff off give it a bit of a clean up with some um, just PCB cleaner Careful, as it will still be very hot. Now, we'll put on a little bit of leaded solder. Don't want to go crazy with it because then just spill out the edges and make shorts. Just little bits like that on each pad. Fine. And we get a flux. I'm just using a flux pen. More flux always, more good. Um, Pretend this is a new LED I'm putting back on. So we're just going to put the LED next to it so it warms up a bit with the board. Just going to get it hot enough to um, melt that solder we just put on. See that that's melted, so pop the LED on. And you just gotta get all lined up. Uh, the surface tension of the solder will help pull it into place somewhat, especially with the smaller LEDs that uh, don't have the legs, just got the pads underneath. But that's pretty much it. Um, I will suggest just um, probably like chuck a power supply across it and test from the point on the previous LED to the point on the next LED in the chain just to check that those solder joints are all good and you haven't got any dry joints. Uh, you can just touch it up with a soldering iron from the top rather than having to get the hot air gun again if you've got any issues. Uh, but that should be it.